Hi, it's Mr. Wassman, and today we are looking at Home Links 1.5, that is Unit 1, Lesson 5, Using Estimation Strategies. So let's dive right in. The instructions at the top say, read the number stories, choose an appropriate estimation strategy. Now when I am working with number stories, I like to use a particular strategy entitled RUCUS. RUCUS is an acronym that stands for reread the problem, underline the question, circle the important information, come up with an action plan, and then solve. So I'm going to read this problem, and then I'm going to reread it. On the walk home from school, Meg stopped at the library for 22 minutes and at her grandmother's house for 38 minutes. She spent 17 minutes walking. She left at 3 and was supposed to be home by 4. Did Meg make it home on time? So, I'm going to reread this problem, but as I do, I'm going to circle some parts of the question or the problem that I think might be useful. So let's go to it again. On the walk home from school, Meg stopped at the library for 22 minutes and at her grandmother's house for 38 minutes. She spent 17 minutes walking. She left at 3 and was supposed to be home by 4. So the question is, did Meg make it home on time? So let's check where we are in the problem. So I've read the problem twice. I've now underlined the question, and I've circled the important information. Now I need to come up with an action plan. Well, one of the things that might be useful to know is how many minutes are we trying to count here? Well... The difference between 3 and 4 o'clock is a difference of 1 hour. And of course, if you recall, 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. So the question I'm asking myself is, is the amount of time that Meg spent at the library, at Grandma's house, and walking more or less than 60 minutes? So I'm going to create an estimation problem. So I want a total of her minutes. So that sounds like an addition problem to me. So each of these uh, each of these amounts, 22, 38, 17, these are numbers in the tens. So it would be uh, logical for me to round them to the nearest 10. So 22 minutes. I'm going to walk you through that process. 22 is between... 20 and 30. And the halfway point between 20 and 30 is 25. So when I look at 22 compared to 20 and 30, 22 is on the low end. It's closer to 20 than it is to 30. It has not made it past the halfway mark of 25. So 22 would round down. So I'm going to create a problem right here. And it ties into the second part, which is, how did you get your answer? So I'm going to start by saying, I rounded each time to the nearest 10. Period. So I added 20 plus, now this is where we have to round the other two amounts. Now, when I look at 38 minutes, 38 is closer to 40, because the halfway point would be 35, and 17 is closer to 20 than it is to 10, because the halfway point between 10 and 20 would be 15. So I would round 17 to 20. So here's my action plan embedded in my answer. So I added 20 plus 40 plus 20 and got what? Well, what did I get? So this is where we're going to ignore these zeros for just a minute. We're just going to add the tens, the single digit numbers in front of the zeros. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. So if I add 2 tens plus 4 tens plus 2 more tens, that's going to give me 8 tens. 8 tens, otherwise known as 80, 
is more than an hour. So let's go back to reread that question. Did Meg make it home on time? Well, the answer would be no. How did you get your answer? I rounded each time to the nearest 10, so I added 20 plus 40 plus 20, and that gave me 80 minutes. So the last part of this question is, why did you choose your estimation strategy? Well, as we discussed before, all the amounts of time are in the tens. So we can just say that. All of the amounts of time were in the tens. And that's how I go about solving a number story problem like this. I read the problem multiple times. I underlined the question. I came up with uh, an action plan after circling all the important information, and then I solved it. And that's what I want you to do for number two. So take your time and think through what it is that the author of this question is asking you to do. Come up with a strategy. Uh, is this an addition or subtraction problem? What am I going to round these numbers to? And what is my answer? Along with the story problem for number two, I want you to solve the problems down at the bottom in the practice section. These are a straight up addition where you need to come up with the exact amount. This will be good practice for lessons to come. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to me. Otherwise, we will talk again soon. Thanks, friends.